All right. So to the retirement. Yeah. Second Tuesday in a row, yeah. and Josh Kennedy has called time. A Swans great announces his impending retirement at the end of the season. He carried a name and he furthered well, a magnificent name in the history of the game and he created his own legacy in the Harbour City. 13 years ago when I turned up, I could tell I'd come from a, another club in which I'm, I'm very grateful that they gave me the opportunity, but I could tell when I, I walked into the... the uh, the reception downstairs that I'd, I'd landed somewhere pretty special. You knew what you were going to get out of Josh Kennedy every week. Ah, oh, he's a brute, this bloke, isn't he? He is. And then you go to finals and you knew what you were going to get, which was another level again. And very few players you can say that again. It's a good man to have it now, you reckon? It's Kennedy! Number 12, Josh Kennedy. Yeah, oh, this will be... I don't think I've said it. This will be my final year. <laughs> 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 this will be it. I'll, I'll be hanging them up at the end of this year. And I say that with a, a heart full of gratitude and fulfilment. It's a bloody goodbye. Excellent. <laughs> Wow, the emotions wow. are raw in all of that. We are very privileged to have Josh come back from a family dinner a little early to join us on AFL 360. Josh, congratulations. It's great to have you on 360 tonight. Thanks, Jared. Thanks, Robbo. Um, yeah, it's still very raw, but yeah. uh, it's been a good day. What are the gamut of emotions that you've worked through over, say, the last 72 hours? Oh, um... Oh, th every every single one of them, um, from sadness, knowing that it's potentially the last time I, I do certain things, uh, to um, and as I said in the in the press conference, I think just joy and, and gratitude for uh, all the the great times I've had, uh, the opportunities that that have been presented to me along the way, and and all the people that have helped uh, support me, and and I guess ridden the journey and the highs and lows with me as well. I was talking to someone today, Josh, and he said to me, why did you really love Josh Kennedy as a player? I said, well, he wasn't that fast. He wasn't a great mark. He was a solid mark. <laughs> he won a great kick, but he was a solid kick. But I said at the 23rd minute mark of a third quarter and the scores were two points of difference, there was Josh Kennedy contest after contest after contest winning the ball. What, what, what do you pride yourself on most that you got your most ability out of? Uh, what do I pride? Uh, look, I, th I think I pride myself on the fact that I got the most out of myself uh, over the course of the last 16 years. Um, I pride myself, I'm really proud of uh, my performance in, in finals and grand finals. Um, but I'm also acutely aware of the fact that uh, I wouldn't have been half the player I was without amazing teammate, teammates along the journey as well and they all made me better. So um, I think basically it just comes down to, uh, you know, on a personal level I'm proud of the fact that I, I, I can put my head on the pillow uh, when the dust settles at the end of this season and know I, I gave everything and, and poured my heart and soul into, into my footy career and, and uh, have left no stone unturned. So hard to talk about yourself, I know, but when, when, when history records players, Josh, and we talk about, as you said, and what, um, and what uh, John Longmire said, they rise in finals. What, what enabled you to rise in finals? Was it your, a willpower? Was it your smarts? What, 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 what do you think it was? Uh, look, I, I don't know. I think um, the, the game suited... You know, those sort of finals games suits my style of game. Um, it was a pretty simple focus. You know, it's it's very much reliant on yourself uh, and having played different roles this year, you realise um, that sometimes you can do all the right things and you, and you don't necessarily get the footy and you're doing the team things and you're playing the role and you're playing a good game, but uh, the, the, the stats might not necessarily show that, but the, the team knows that. So... Um, yeah, I don't know whether it was one thing, but I think a combination of, of those things plus, plus, as I said, amazing teammates around me.
So you would have grown up as the family is so steeped in in football folklore. So you would have known it from the earliest age, Josh. When you when you think about what the dreams of a little kid would have been to, to the journey that you've had and this just extraordinary image of, of you and your grandfather there. H how is the how is the reality married up to the idea of it all? Yeah, I, I mean, <laughs> the the highlights along the way have have absolutely married up to to the idea of it all. Um, the whole journey, uh, I think. You know, it's, it's, it's still very raw. I haven't had a whole lot of time to reflect. As I, I sort of said today that although it's been in the, the back of my mind and, I, and I've probably known for some time that this is my last year, saying it out loud's the last step, but, but the hardest and, yeah. and coming to terms with it. And I've probably, um, you know, just buried it for most of the season and tried to focus on, you know, getting my body right, getting back in the team um, and helping out that way. So uh, I haven't thought about it too much. Um, but uh, I think, you know, just off the top of my head, what I've, I've learnt along the way, and, and not necessarily on, in terms of football, but just as a person in life and the challenges that you go through and the, the resilience and uh, the, the skills that you develop over the time, you know, they're the things that uh, I'm, I'm really grateful for and, 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 um, and know that, uh, you know, when I look back when I was... 18 years old and got drafted that uh, I've just changed so much and, and grown and, and developed and um, and I'm so grateful for the people that have, have taught me the, all those things along the way. Josh, did you ever feel pressure being the grandson of, 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 of John and, and father of John or were you, did you feel blessed? Uh, I absolutely felt blessed. Um, maybe it was not, you know, a bit of ignorance or naivety, but uh, yeah, I, I never, I never felt any pressure. Um, even coming up to Sydney, uh, you know, in the back end of 2009, I, 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 I was sort of planning on what I was going to do uh, life after football. Then, um, thinking that it could all, all be over, and, and then Sydney obviously threw me a bone, and, and I've. I'm, I'm eternally grateful for that and, and coming up and just having a crack and seeing what happens and, uh, you know, I, I never thought I'd be standing here today but, um, yeah, I, I've been so blessed and, it, you know, not just Dad and, and my grandfather but uh, all my relatives, my mum's side of the family uh, have been amazing, uh, the Russos and, and Madame Luke Ball and, and, and my family up here in Sydney as well uh, that have just been a huge support network and I'm, I, I consider myself incredibly blessed to have a plethora of mentors um, that have, have been able to guide me along the way and help me through through uh, challenging times and, and, and bring me down too if needed, if I get a bit ahead of myself. So when you were retiring today and John Longmire burst into tears, when's the last time you saw a horse crying? <laughs> <laughs> No, a horse, he's, uh, he wears his heart on his sleeve. It's, he, he can get pretty emotional when uh, talking about many things. But um, no, we've shared a, an amazing journey. Uh, I think I've, I've played more ga as many games as anyone uh, underneath his reign. And, and uh, yeah, he's a big reason in, in terms of those lessons that I've learnt. Uh, most of them have been from him. And, um, you know, it's all... It's mate, a lot of it's off-field sort of things that you, you you grow, and I know I'm going to take with me into my life as a as a father and a and a friend, and and whatever's next, I I uh, I know he'll he'll be a big part of that. So uh, it's a, it's a special special bond that that we'll we'll share forever. Obviously, being a, my premiership coach too. And you're not giving up on the last six or seven weeks of the season, Josh. How are those how are those dodgy hammies at the moment? <laughs> Yeah, look, it's um, it, it, there's not a whole lot of wiggle room there or, or room for error. But uh, look, one thing you know is that things can things can change pretty quickly in, in AFL footy from one week to the next. And uh, geez, I, I, I just I guess it's just part of my nature and, and just part of the game that you just want to get every ounce of. Uh, every ounce out of it as you can. And, and um, I guess that's my mindset now and. and that's both on field and off field with the with the team. Obviously, in a great position. Uh, it's such an exciting time. Uh, I've loved watching the development of, of our, our young players and, and our team in general. And um, 
you know, I want to be there in 110%, both both on a individual level to try and get myself right, but on a, an emotional and um, I guess supportive role as well as, as as anything. Well done, and we really appreciate you making the effort tonight. Thanks for being with us, and, and good luck for the last little phase. Thank you very much, guys. Thanks for having me.